Hello, welcome back to Jilly's Nails. I have something fun and kind of different today. We're going to go through my collection and I'm going to talk about some of my favorite manicure essential items, things that are in my collection that I feel like just need to be there for me to have a good time creating nail art. So the first one that we are going to look at is cuticle oil. There's all different kinds, and I don't know why this came out blurry. <laughs> that is a bottle of uh, pure jojoba oil that I got off of Amazon. Uh, it was between 8 and $10. This cuticle oil came from Maniology. It is orange scented, and oh my god, it's awesome. It's my absolute favorite, and I don't think you can get it from their website anymore, which makes me really sad and kind of hurts my heart a little. So I may have to look for some orange oil to add to my own personal mix. And I also have the Sally Hansen cuticle oil. It does have vitamin E in it along with oil um, to help your nails. Now you may ask why I have all these bottles because I have one at my nail station, I have one by my bedside, I have one at my computer, and these three I take to work with me. And I just kind of keep them. I ordered these bottles off of Amazon and they were cheap. It was five dollars maybe. It might have been a little more than that and I just refill them with the bigger bottle that I bought. I've had this bottle for over a year um, and there's still almost half a bottle in there. So to me, very much worth the money because if you go buy like that Sally Hansen one I showed you, that cuticle oil costs like five or six bucks. Um, this bottle was $10, I think for this huge bottle. And I have refilled these at least twice. And actually I think the Sally Hansen one has that in it too. I think I've refilled it with that. Um, so it's a much better deal in my opinion to buy the jojoba oil in bulk kind of and just refill your own bottles. So if you get that opportunity, it's definitely worth trying out. I really do like the jojoba oil. I know I have crusty cuticles quite a bit, <laughs> but it's not from this. It's just my skin is dry and I've been using some different face products that I think are causing that. Um, after you refill them, I just wipe them down with a paper towel, pop them back in the bag, stick them in my purse and take them to work and keep them in my desk. They've never leaked. I've never had any problems with them at all. And it's always very nice. I do sales on the phone. So while I'm talking on the phone, I just pull out the cuticle oil if I'm talking to a customer about products. And while I'm talking, I just oil up my cuticles. Uh, also, lint rollers, very essential for a lot of reasons. One, it, for cleaning the mats off. You let the polish dry and just rub the lint roller across it, boom. Also, for cleaning out my light box, because if I'm not looking, the cat jumps in it and takes a nap. So I try to keep the door shut, because <laughs> he likes to sleep on the velvet, and he makes a mess. But, um, this also will take stamping off of your stampers. Now, I had just rolled this all over the mat, so it wasn't completely sticky. Usually it comes off in just one tap. Um, and I was like, what the crap? <laughs> just couldn't get it to come off. So I guess what whatever was on that uh, silicone mat there made a uh, mess on the lint roller. I just couldn't see it. So again, very essential for me. I love it. You can use it to get um, nail polish off of your hands if it's dried thinly. But mostly I use it for stamp cleanup and for cleaning out my light box for photos. And actually just cleaning my general work area. The next thing I recommend for anybody, this is the one that I particularly like. Oily Bonder for a base coat. You need a good base coat. You need, if you have ridges, get a ridge filling one. The Sally Hansen, I think it's 7-in-1 Complete Care. It's in a pink bottle. Great for filling ridges. I've had horrible ridges in my nails. That's not the same polish. That is a quick dry top coat. Um, necessary, mandatory if you're doing stamping. You have to have a quick dry top coat for stamping, for nail vinyls, for a lot of different things. So if you don't have anything in your collection, that's a good one to have. It's about five bucks. And like I've mentioned in some of the Halloween videos that I have, I've just been refilling the bottle on the right with other half empty bottles and putting nail polish thinner in it. <laughs> it's lasted me forever. So I'm not wasting any polish. Next, a good selection of polishes. Get a black, get a white, and then start kind of building up your colors from there if you're wanting to do nail art. You, you can go by season, you can get dark and vampy ones, you can just get really light base ones. I think the next one is called Beaches and Cream from Sinful Colors. It's so pretty in person. It kind of has like a, a pink reflect in, in it a little bit. It's shimmery, it's very pretty. Um, and then after those uh, different polish collections, of course, we have to go with stamping plates. For me, these are mandatory. <laughs> I love stamping. It, it, ever since I first saw it, I was like, what is this and how do I do it? 
I have been obsessed from day one. And you can get different size stamping plates. They have giant ones that have a hundred patterns on them. Um, I like the ones from Maniology, both the small square ones and the rectangle ones. Cuticle stuff. I have had that same bottle, 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 <laughs> that same bottle of cuticle remover for years. I've probably had it for three years. Um, and along with that, I'll use a medical, me, good God, what is wrong with me? Metal cuticle pusher <laughs> or a wood cuticle pusher um, to push back my cuticles and remove any extra that I have on the skin. This one, I always thought, oh, you don't really need this. And now that I have one, I'm like, yeah, you really do. I love this, <laughs> the little claw. I use that for sponging. I use it for picking up cotton pads. But if you don't have one, you can just hold the cotton between your fingers like this. And I, that's what I did before I had one. I would just hold it, press down on the pump, saturate it, clean my nails, wipe my mat down, clean my stamps, uh, my stamping plates. And that way I didn't get polish in my fingernails. Yeah, it makes your hands kind of cloudy from the acetone, but whatever. Makeup sponges. Just generic, plain old, you know, 100 of them in a bag makeup sponges. They are great for gradients. And you just cut the tip off when you're done so they last forever. Also, you saw the other one that was all ripped up. I ripped pieces off of that to do the last graveyard manicure that I did. So they do have quite a few uses. Some people use them wet. Some people use them dry. That's personal preference in my opinion. And of course, for me, I need stampers. This is the Maniology Ice Cube Stamper. Some people don't like it. I do. I think it works great. And I use it in almost all of my manicures. If you don't believe me, go back and look at the Halloween one. You can see which ones I use. <laughs> I only really have two kinds of clear stampers. I have the monocle and the ice cube. And I like them both for different reasons. So um, it definitely does have a learning curve with that one. You cannot just mash on it. You have to barely kiss the plate with it to get it to pick up. And you see how I'm holding it between the two fingers like that? That helps you keep from putting too much heavy pressure on it because if you do, it'll shoot out of your fingers. So if, you, if you're not sure if you're pressing too hard and it's not working for you, just barely hold it like that and you'll drop it if you're pressing too hard. This is the monocle stamper. I like this one. My one complaint about it is how big it is. <laughs> Nobody has a nail that big. Nobody needs a stamper that big. I mean, maybe there's somebody out there with a nail that big. I don't know them, that's for sure. But it is a nice sticky stamper and it can pick up large designs so you can kind of turn it and pick the part of the design you want the most on your nail. So you know how some stamping plates will just be covered with one big image? This is great for that because it lets you be a little more picky about what part of the plate you want to pick up and then press your finger into. It is nice. They do come with replacement heads. You can just kind of pop it out. As you see, I'm kind of playing with it and pushing it in and out. Um, the very nice stampers, I think they cost, I think they're about 10 to $15. I can't remember off the top of my head. But um, they're nice. They're worth it. Last time I looked on the Maniology website, they were out of them, though. So it may be something where if you don't have an account, go make one, log in, put it on your wish list, and keep an eye out for it. Because it is worth it. I do like them. Also, cuticle nippers, I always keep those around for little snags and rips because my cuticles do it a lot. I use this e.l.f. concealer brush just to kind of wipe off any dust after I file. Um, or if on rare occasions now, hardly ever, I haven't used it in like a while actually, any kind of nail extension like acrylic or poly gel, anything like that, if you use that, it's really good for wiping away the dust. I also have cleanup brushes. This one has a mini stamper on one end of it, and I think that's really cool for small designs. It's a very nice cleanup brush. I do like that one because it has a, and it's dried up right now, but it has a, um, a good slant to it so you can really get into that cuticle. This is what I've been using in most of my videos through Halloween. However, if you look at the end there, you can see it's pinched really tight. I had to do that. The People have been having problems with the bristles going back up into the handle. It had never happened to me. It finally happened to me. And when I started trying to pull them back down, they were actually falling out. So what I had to do was pull them all even, crimp the end shut again, and then snip it. Uh, sorry, I was talking over that. Buy at your own risk. Files. We need nail files. Uh, those nail files I have come from Sally's. And that is a nail polish thinner that I also get from Sally's. 
And the thing about the files from Sally's, I actually like them when they're used up kind of hard. Um, it, it makes them softer because my nails are natural. I also have the black and white apple barrel acrylic paints. Those are great for just drawing straight lines, for mixing grays real quick, um, filling in any stamping mistakes that you've made with this brush. This brush is amazing. I have not had any problems with it yet, and I've used it a lot in the last month. Um, I, it's a repurchase for me. If something goes wrong, I'm getting a new one. That's how much I like it. And you can see how tiny it is um, compared to the rest of my hand. But that is an excellent brush. And this acetone is my favorite. Not necessarily because of the acetone in it, but because of that. It has little scratches on the inside of it. And this is just the normal acetone I use. But the little scratches on the inside get glitter off so fast it's ridiculous. It's amazing. Get it for the container and refill it. Gel polish. I do recommend a good base, a no wipe top coat, and a black and a white gel. Mostly because you can use those with chrome powder. And that's all you really need if you're going to use gel, apart from a light, of course. Um, is white or black base and top coat. Love chrome powders. I don't do them as often as I want to because I'm not a huge lover of gel. It just comes off of me too easy and it kind of irritates me that it comes off that fast. But if you look at these chrome powders, they're gorgeous. This is the Scarab one from Maniology, which I managed to get all over my hands and all over my mat. But it is what it is. Those I bought from Born Pretty on Amazon. I think they came in a pack of 12 and I accidentally bought two. So um, they're awesome. They're a good price. That's a glitter that I got from Maniology. Love them. They're so great to mix in with a clear polish. Or I have some chunkier ones that you can just kind of do glitter placements with. But I love those little pods because it gives you all these options to try stuff out. And this is called flocking. It's fuzzy, like a sweater. So when you see those nails that look fuzzy, that's what they're using. That is available right now on the Maniology website. And so are caviar beads, which are just little teeny tiny gems. Um, you can use them to fill in the gaps of these bigger gems and so that you can't see where the gems are glued down they're also really cute to line a cuticle with and always having an assortment of gems look girls on a budget so mine are not so wartsky I can't even say that sportsky crystals or whatever um, mine are the plastic ones but uh, born pretty has those in the middle come from them they are really pretty and very nice gems um, they also sell some cute charms that come in little sets uh, you'll see some soon that I posted here uh, around Christmas time that have heavier charms in them with like stockings and Santa there it is um, and green and red glitter and all that stuff that matches it so they kind of sell little holiday theme ones very very cool nail vinyls for the days when you need a quick design and you don't want to stamp or if you want to layer things or if you just don't like stamping nail vinyls are great go for it simply nail logical 50 gazillion tools and again you can always buy a manicure kit if you don't have time. So I do keep those on hand and stickers as well. And um, there's my latex stuff. Love that. You'll see me use it a hundred million times. But, um, and of course, selections of polish and polish. That's just my stamping polish. And the Pringles can in the back is a trash can. <laughs> so I hope you liked kind of seeing a peek into the supplies that I use and what I have on hand. If there's anything in particular you want to see me use, let me know. I'd love to do that for you because um, options are open now. We're not stuck with how so any questions you have, any techniques you want to know about, anything that I can do to help you out, please just leave me a comment and let me know. Um, if you liked everything I put in here, please click on my face and subscribe. It should be in your upper left hand corner. And you can always click on the playlist in the right corner. Right now it'll probably take you back to Halloween because I don't have that much else out yet. But I promise it's all coming. You should see my videos in the future on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I uh, just still don't know what time I'm going to post yet. Just look for it Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.